Sam, who lives in Canada, decided to take a shortcut through a deserted forest instead of his usual route home after a long work day. This decision led to the biggest scare of his life. He had only strayed a few meters off the path when a huge bear suddenly appeared right in front of him. The bear was so close he could see its nose twitching as it breathed. Thanks to the nature documentaries he had watched, Sam was quite knowledgeable about bears. Remembering this information, he tried to stay calm and conceal his fear as much as possible. To appear intimidating, he raised his arms to make himself look taller. The bear stood on its hind legs, approached, and sniffed him. Though it looked dangerous, the bear suddenly sat down and began to moan. At first, Sam prepared to retreat, but the bear's cries of pain forced him to turn around. He saw that the bear had a deep cut on its belly and a wounded front paw. This could have made the situation more dangerous, but the bear didn't seem threatening. Instead, it looked exhausted and sad, clearly in pain. Sam remembered seeing a mother bear with her cub across the river that morning. This was probably the same bear, but what had injured her and where was her cub? This thought spurred him into action. He realized the bear was seeking his help and carefully followed the animal to the river. When they arrived, the mother bear stayed nearby, anxiously looking for her cub. However, the cub was nowhere to be seen. Suddenly, a dark head emerged from the water. Sam looked closely and saw the cub clinging to a rock, struggling as the water flowed over it. The cub wouldn't last much longer. Sam realized that the mother bear had been injured trying to save her cub and had gone to find help. He couldn't let the cub drown, but he knew how strong and dangerous the river's current was. Jumping in unprepared could be fatal. He needed to come up with a plan quickly. He quickly grabbed his fishing gear and a net he usually used as a fish basket. He tied the rope tightly around his waist, secured the other end to a tree on the riverbank and left a long length of rope in front of him. Then, with determination, he jumped into the water. The current was stronger than he had anticipated. Using all his strength, he swam towards the rocks where he had last seen the cub. His experience as a former Navy sailor gave him a significant advantage in this struggle. An inexperienced swimmer would likely not survive this fierce current. He approached the rocks and tried to hold on to locate the cub precisely. He could hear the mother bear's frantic grunts and whines as she paced back and forth on the shore, visibly distressed. However, the mother bear seemed to understand how dangerous it was to enter the water again and couldn't do so because of her injuries. The hope of seeing her cub again now depended entirely on Sam. Sam was breathing heavily and his mind was racing. The tide and the current made it difficult to pinpoint the cub's exact location. He was thrilled when he saw the cub's head reappear. He just needed to swim a bit more against the current to reach it. But in a tragic moment, the cub slipped. It couldn't hold onto the rocks and was swept away by the river. The cub suddenly disappeared into the dark water. Without hesitation, Sam jumped in after it and swam with all his might. If he lost the cub at this point, he might never find it again. The small bear seemed to have stopped struggling and was submerged. The situation was dire. However, Sam continued to fight desperately and swam after the cub. The rope tied to his waist was getting shorter and finally reached its end. When the cub resurfaced, Sam grabbed it quickly without hesitation. He worried that the cub might struggle or scratch him, which could put both of their lives at risk. But the cub lay motionless in his arms. The story didn't end there, though. Sam now had to get back to the shore safely and needed both arms to swim. He untied the rope from his waist and wrapped it around the cub. Now he could use all his strength to carry the cub to safety. The cub's stillness made his task easier, but it was also a major concern. If the cub was dead, what would happen when he reached the mother bear with her lifeless cub? This could have terrifying consequences for Sam, but there was no time to dwell on these thoughts. He had to focus all his energy on getting the cub to safety. He felt his strength waning. Only adrenaline was keeping him going. Suddenly, he felt his feet touch the ground. They had reached shallow water. Sam managed to get out of the water carrying the cub. The mother bear was running towards them at an incredible speed, surprisingly fast for an injured animal. Sam had to separate from the cub before the bear reached them. He didn't even have time to check the cub's condition. Just then, the cub began to move upon hearing its mother's voice. However, after a few steps, the mother bear suddenly started to stagger dangerously and collapsed with a thud. When Sam looked more closely, 
He saw that the mother's wounds and cuts were far more severe and numerous than they initially appeared. The adrenaline had kept her going, but now that her cub was alive and safe, she completely collapsed. Sam had saved the cub, but he was watching it become an orphan before his eyes. He felt helpless. He couldn't find his cell phone, probably lost in the water. He started running towards the forest path to get help. As he ran desperately, something unexpected happened. He suddenly heard a sound in the distance. It sounded like a truck. He shouted loudly, and suddenly a few people came rushing towards him. Earlier, while he was trying to save the cub in the river, a few hikers had quickly gone to call for help. They had found a wildlife rescue team, explained the situation, and the team had quickly gathered the necessary equipment and started searching for Sam. They had a large stretcher with them. First, they sedated the bear to prevent her from attacking when she came to. Then they bandaged her wounds to stop the bleeding and carefully loaded her onto the truck. The rescue team quickly took both bears to the nearest wildlife veterinary clinic. When they arrived at the vet, the team immediately took the bear from the truck and rushed her to the operating room. They began treating her wounds with first aid. The cub was also in critical condition, and another team was treating it. Both teams did everything they could to save the bear's lives. The mother bear had infections in some of her wounds, and the cub was still very weak due to the life-threatening ordeal it had faced. The efforts to restore the mother's health were intense, but the presence of her cub seemed to give her the strength she needed to recover. Days passed, and the two animals gradually healed. After staying in the wildlife sanctuary for a while, the day finally came for them to return to their true home. The rescue team had prepared a plan for their release back into the wild, and informed Sam about it. They met at the release area further into the forest. The moment the cage doors opened was magical. The mother bear immediately ran towards the forest. The cub hesitated for a moment, looked at its mother, and then followed her. Sam could barely hold back his tears. He felt proud for saving the small family, though he was also a bit sad knowing he might never see them again. On his way home, Sam could think only of this incredible event. What started as an ordinary day for him turned into a life-changing experience. This event would remain a memory, reminding him not only of a rescue story, but also of the relationship between humans and nature and how they should help each other. This story is a touching tale of two bears, saved by the courage and determination of a man deep in the wilderness of Canada's wild beauty and dangers. Through this experience, Sam understood the importance of not just being an observer of nature, but also a protector. Although he would continue his life as usual after this event, this experience would remain an unforgettable memory for him. Please don't forget to like the video, share it with your loved ones, and subscribe to the channel.